What is the weirdest fetish an SO had that you just went with because they were hot? After reading the answers on this thread, I believe that my SO is very vanilla. Not that uncommon, but had a girlfriend who liked to play keep away. She'd ask me to do it with her while she struggled to get away. If she said no or stop, I would, but she'd make non-verbal unhappy vocalizations the whole time. Made me really uncomfortable, but she was really hot, and sometimes she'd be very aggressive. Never asked me to resist, though. An ex-GF of mine, who looked a little like Emily Browning, had a fetish for watching men fight. She'd expressed a desire to see me fight another man shirtless, which was strange. As far as I know, she's the only girl with that fetish. To this day, she posts about UFC on Twitter. I'm a dude who knows a dude, roommate at the time, who got pedicures because his girl wanted his toes inside of her. First and only time I'd ever heard of a female having a foot fetish. Pretty odd if you ask me, but she seemed like a cool chick. I'd have done it too. Edit, I know this is a valid account because we were all friends and there were plenty of drunken jokes about it and a few serious conversations. She was always confident about her fetish and referenced it at times, but he had some issues with it and would confide in me in accordance with Bro Code Article 8, Section 42A. I've spanked plenty of women while doing it, but this one girl, she was a real sub. Now, I had never been with a real sub before, not my kink, but whatever, damn. She couldn't orgasm without being spanked hard, like uncomfortably hard. Plus, she liked being slapped and thrown around the room, choked. She was a weird chick, super cute. Edit, holy hell. Edit, also, not all subs. Edit, today I learned I did it with a masochist. She loved pain and being physically hurt. It started with pinching, biting, gentle stuff that made doing it interesting. Then it escalated to hair pulling and slaps, more and more rough over time. She wanted and asked for much more, straight punches and kicks, but never felt okay with going that far. If I didn't agree to hurt her, she would often do it herself. And I must say, it's quite the show when your girlfriend slaps the crap out of her own face repeatedly while screaming, that's how you should treat me. One time she bit herself so hard we had to go to the ER. She was aroused the whole time while the nurse and I were horrified. Fun times. But she was insanely hot. Doing it with her was incredible, and I'm that shallow. So it went on for a while. I broke up with her the day she got emotional and aggressive when I refused to slap her in a crowded supermarket. We remained kind of friends. Last time I talked to her, she pulled one of her nails off in front of her Tinder date. My SO's fetish was denying our relationship in public and avoiding being seen together as much as possible because I wasn't in her league, but she still liked me, but just feared what people would say. Sexy fetish, isn't it? Met a girl with a perfectly tattooed pinwheel lollipop right in her armpit. As we're making out and things are getting hot, she says if you lick the lollipop, I'll rock your effing world. Hesitated for a sec, then said eff it and went for it. Might as well have been eating her out because she absolutely loved it. Then rode me harder and better than any woman ever has. Dated a woman with a R impregnation fetish. Specifically wanted doing it to start as consensual, then build to a climax wherein she asked me to pause slash apply protection, at which point I should refuse to do so and physically restrain her long enough to come inside her amidst her protests that she would get pregnant. That's not so problematic until you consider the fact that I had to implicitly trust her claim that she was on the pill in the midst of what was clearly an obsession with pregnancy. Eventually, this progressed to a roleplay narrative that she was pregnant and I would harm the baby with forceful doing it. That was the point where the discomfort exceeded the hotness. Posted about this before, but one girl wanted to blow me while I criticized her and called her racial slurs. That was weird. Another girl wanted me to slap her in the face. That was also weird, but kind of fun once I got used to it. Dated the guy who liked to wait until I was just about there, then he'd bite my bean. Hard. Like, drew blood once. Hard. Most intense orgasms ever. My friend told me her SO would buy a bunch of live beetles and grubs and have her squish them with her bare feet while he pleasured himself. Edit. I actually am surprised more people aren't familiar with this. When my friend told me about it, she said that it's a really common fetish, though she may have just been trying to rationalize the crazy crap that she did. I never once had any interest to do any research as seeing bugs slash animals squished isn't something I go out of my way to see. I believe this is my second highest rated comment and it's about my poor friend squishing bugs with her feet. Edit 2. Holy cow, by far my highest rated comment. 
It's been over a decade since she confided in me with this. She is now in a healthy relationship and has a young child. I'm happy that she got her crap together and left this creep. I hadn't thought about this story in years, but the title of this post reminded me of it because it's the weirdest thing I've heard of someone doing for love. I don't ever plan to bring up this memory with her again. It's effed up, but at least it didn't progress to puppies or kittens, as far as I know. My very lesbian girlfriend was oddly into threesomes with men. At least I actually learned something about myself from it. I hooked up with a girl in the back of my SUV at a bar, and she started yelling, Truffle butter me! Truffle butter me! I did, and my friends won't let me forget it and tell new people I meet immediately. I found out shortly before I broke up with a college girlfriend that she had a fetish for my race and was imagining scenarios in which I was a slave and she was the master's wife. I'm a light-skinned black man. She rationalized it by saying, you were in the house in my head. That was a level of crazy that I'm not prepared to deal with. My ex ruined vanilla girls for me. She liked to get slapped and would slap back. She liked to be choked until passed out and instructed that I keep going. The feeling of a knife blade on her skin really got her off and she told me once that back in Israel while she dated a soldier, they wrapped the end of his rifle in saran wrap and effed her with it. That last one intimidated me for a while. My ex used to have me come in her before she would go out in public because she said she liked me marking my territory. I don't know, it was weird, but I wasn't complaining. You liked screaming, like hentai level kya during orgasm crap, but more like screaming, I don't know how to describe it. It was a little weird, but it made for some kinky intense doing it, so I went with it. Oddly, I felt comfortable enough around him to do it without feeling awkward, and I just made the most out of it, found the enjoyment out of it. But now that we are broken up, would I do it again? No, lol. Edit. Apparently I have typed this in a way that has everyone reading it hilariously wrong, and I'm not even mad. Her fetish, or what she was into, was fulfilling whatever the thing I was into that day. Seriously, I would just be coming up with new stuff, and it was always a let's go. I tried to unlock her weird side, but really, she just ventured quite deep. I missed that. She wanted me to pee on her. Like, on her face, with her mouth open. I did it a couple of times. I'm not too proud of that moment. We'd been going out for a few months when one night he'd asked if he'd call me a different name, like role-playing. Then he started shouting out his cousin's name as he climaxed. So awkward. Friends FWB had an extremely specific race-play femdom fetish. He'd ask her to memorize little dirty talk lines referencing country names of Japan-occupied territories and events in The War. This dildo-centric matriarchal alternate history had extremely intricate lore that he made all by himself. He even had a Japanese-English conlang made up. Two years later, and I am still stunned. Not Nesso, but during doing it, a Tinder hookup once asked me to spit in her mouth. I thought, what the hell, but didn't really get it right, and a lot of it missed her mouth and got on her face. She shouted, ew, not my face, and was completely disgusted. I don't really understand where her line was. I dated a girl. She had this weird fetish where she'd dress up like herself and act like a blank all the time. My ex peed on me in the shower regularly. It peed me off to no end. Pun intended. I had a girlfriend that had abuse fantasies once. I wasn't attracted to it, but figured I'd try it for her. Made a proper agreement beforehand with safe words and lots of reassurance from her. Did the deed, didn't enjoy it. After I'd finished, she was crying, calling me an a-hole, and then gave me the silent treatment for the rest of the night. I felt like crap. In the morning, she was perfectly fine and happy, and when asked, told me everything was cool regarding the night before, so I asked her why then had she been crying, etc. She told me that was all part of the role play. I knew at that moment that I was unwilling to go into that fantasy again. For me, the whole thing was ugly and horrible from start to finish. So back on World Cup 2014, I've met this American girl. I was 18 and she was 30. We went to the hotel she was staying at. Things started to get hot and she said, if we're going to do this, you'll have to... At that moment, I started to think she was going to end up with grab your condom, only to get brick surprised in the face by her saying, pretend you are my son and I'm your mom, not your step one though. Since we were already on it, I thought, well, no turning back now. Went on anyway. No regrets. Role-playing. She likes to tell people that she doesn't know me and that I should stop stalking her and even got a guy to dress up as a cop and give me a fake restraining order. It's hot as hell. I'm a virgin college student and I do not belong here. 
I always thought if it's a thing that people do, I've probably seen or heard about it in porn. But after looking through these comments, I now know I was horribly wrong. Not doing it and just being a hateful monster. LMAO, Reddit sure is a diverse group. Half of these are, my girlfriend likes to be lightly spanked, gosh, she's such a freak, and the other half is crapping in buckets, farting on my face, and holding in the farts. Biting slash blood drinking. Basically, dated a vampire. Frighteningly high pain threshold. Gave birth twice vaginally without any pain meds. Once with pain meds. Really good at bondage, escaping handcuffs. Twist into odd positions. Please leave your story in the comments. I would love to make a video on them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.